I loved the opening shot of the hive. I feel like it really drew me in. I felt like I was really sitting in the hive and I thought that was really fun. Um, I loved the animation visual in the beginning that kind of represented pollination and just kind of like what the piece was going to be about, which I feel like it's, it's like obvious based on the name, but I feel like something like that also makes it really cool. So I thought that was great. Um, I loved the idea of the concept of nature deficit um, disorder and how a lot of um, my, especially my generation and the generation that's going um, is behind me, how we're kind of losing our connection to nature in a way and how we're kind of okay not being outside and okay, like always constantly being on our phones and like being on uh, the TV and just like not really being one with what's the world outside us. And I thought that was a very interesting um, thing to bring up because I would hope that somehow we can move back to um, a life in which we are one with nature a lot better than we are now because at this rate we're kind of just destroying it. So um, I liked the whole idea of like nature can connect us all if we allow it to and it really does stay with us if we kind of accept it. Um, I thought that the score in the background was so lovely. I just found this whole piece very therapeutic and very calming and it felt somehow very nostalgic based on the music as well and kind of um the interviews that were going on and how just how passionate everyone was about bees and um um becoming one with nature again it was just very nice i thought it was really great and it felt very genuine um, i'm one of those people that probably has a irrational fear of honeybees as in particular and i thought that this piece worked very well for people like me and uh, for children in particular uh, to show them that um honeybees are, are very docile and very safe relatively um and are incredibly vital for the um ecosystem and the environments they are a part of so i thought the piece worked really well and not just sort of looking uh appealing and beautiful and having a good sense of sort of rhythm and pacing in terms of the cinematography but just having the uh, correct intent of uh, trying to uh, change uh, the dialogue or the discourse around a certain subject and trying to educate people and um, uh, have, have, help them have a, a better relationship with their environment, understand um, the world they're living in. So I thought the piece had a, a strong sort of emotional appeal in that sense and a strong uh, visual appeal uh, with its um, cinematography. A really great job of highlighting, um, you know, information about bees, obviously, but also their relationship to humanity and hive mentality and, you know, being involved with nature and the disconnect with nature and how that's impacting our view on these very necessary parts of nature like bees. Um, I think, I think it touches on a lot of different aspects of, of nature and humanity's relationship to it in that way. Um, on top of being incredibly informative and and raising those questions and having those introspective moments i think it's it, it's really beautifully shot there's a lot of great cinematography in here there's a lot of great close-ups of bees a lot of the nature shots are just really phenomenal and it comes out to be a really thought-provoking and just enjoyable piece a remarkable man teaching the way bees work to children and getting them reconnected to nature. A lot of kids are afraid of bees. A lot of adults are. And the fact that he's showing them that there's not really much to be afraid of, that we actually need them, and he's educating children on bees, is remarkable. Local honey is what we all know we're supposed to use for medicinal reasons, for taste, for everything. And the fact that there are people even in, like, Brooklyn still cultivating the bees making sure there is local honey and showing the difference in it. So we all know honey is great for seasonal allergies and things like that to keep them at bay. It's the fact that these guys are and that he shows that he even lets bees walk on his hands and stuff. It was really remarkable. It was nice to see that these folks are out there, um, you know, teaching kids. The kids look so cute in their beekeeper costumes and... Um, and they're all sitting down trying the honey. I wanted to, I wanted to join in and try the honey with them. Um, but yeah, and you know, the, 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 the one fellow was saying, I hope I inspire. I'm like, you are, sir, you are, you are doing a good job out there. Um, everybody involved in this film, all the beekeepers are doing a great job. It was uh, really nice to see them working. I love the visuals and music in this short film. It's a, a really great approach for a short documentary about bees. It's very gentle, inspiring, and poetic, which I think is a great balance to how people may perceive bees and insects in general. 
it really captures a genuine appreciation for nature in a way that I think shares the passion for beekeeping with the audience and inspires them to see insects in a different perspective.